What's up, everybody? Canuck here. Welcome to another National Treasure Course Design Contest official playthrough. And we're off to Switzerland for this one for one of my personal favorite designers. I think he's quite an underrated designer, but I think he's one of the best in the game. It is Energizer, and he has Lauterbrunnen, which is actually named after a little Swiss, picturesque Swiss village. And I'm going to show you a little picture of what it looks like in real life and what he did to the golf course. And it's pretty incredible what he's actually done here. So we're going to give Lauterbrunnen a try and uh, we'll see if, how it is. It's been getting pretty good reviews. So I'm excited to uh, give this a run here. Um, so I think when Energizer first got I think it was a bit out of his comfort zone. Um, but again I'm, I'm from what i'm seeing he's done a very very cool job with it definitely more of an open look of like this big valley so i'm just going to do a quick fly over here first i'm going to show you what the course or sorry not the course what this little village looks like in real life there's lauterbrunnen lauterbrunnen okay so just take a look at that and let me kind of line this uh this little shot up here and you guys be the judge and to kind of what he did here. So there's the real there's the real picture. And here is Lauterbrunnen. Very cool, right? He basically just ripped the town out and made a golf course. So the mountains are really cool. He's even got a little picturesque waterfall. Uh, what well, you can't really see it here. But he's got it uh, right over here. We'll get another closer look at that too. But really, really cool plot. So... Uh, yeah, I'm pumped to give this a go. So, Lauterbrunnen, here we go. So yeah, like I said, um, I don't think Energizer was overly happy he got this at the beginning. But he has absolutely, I think, killed it here. Really cool look. And we're getting started here with a little uphill par 4. And that puts us, oh, nice little uphill, 137 yards. There's that nice little waterfall I was talking about in the background. So up about 49 feet. I think we're happy with a 9 iron here. We're going to put a little bit of loft on this. There we go. Maybe a bit short. Ah. It's okay. It's okay. So yeah, he's really nailed the, uh, the Swiss village, Swiss little valley look for sure here. As we put it in. For an opening par, and we're off on this beautiful Swiss golf course. Second hole, nice little downhill, well guarded at the front with these massive bunkers, this little par three here. So with this pin at the front, we don't have a lot to work with. I'm going to hit a little gap wedge. See if I can land it just short of the pin here. And I think I've done just that. This looks fantastic. Go in the hole. Oh! That's an ideal shot. And we'll tap it in. Fun little shot there. But that really opens it up. Like, you put, put the pin at the back, completely different hole. All right. The third is a short par four. Now, this hole is really cool, I think, because I, I really like how he's created almost like this little ramp here where... You can, you can take on that little cross bunker, but if you get it down through here and you could roll it up onto the green, who knows what could happen. So I think we're going to try this. It almost gives you a green light to go for it here, even on a 350-yard par 4. So we're going to give it a go. We hit it slow, but I think this is going to do something kind of cool here. Kick off the hill. Oh, yes. This is exactly what we're looking for. So, I mean, a shot there could be amazing like this one, or it could be an absolute disaster. But we will take that. And we've got a fairly straightforward 11-footer for an eagle. Oh, I've missed it. I've missed it. What a wasted opportunity there. It's fine. We'll survive with a birdie. Fun hole. Very fun hole. All right, so Energizer, if you play played... Uh... His last latest one he did for Dream Team was called Chuko New Golf Club. I think he kind of did it in like uh, outskirts of like uh, Shanghai, maybe. It was like Chinese. It was really cool. Um, yeah, really liked that course. 
And he is also the creator of uh, Whiskey... Which one was it? Oh, man. I, I I had it on the tip of my tongue. One of those... The, the Whiskey Dunes Project. Um, one of them that a lot of people think is their, is their favorite. Whiskey. It's not Whiskey Dunes. It's not Whiskey Run. Is it Whiskey Run? No. I'm sorry, Energizer. You guys are going to have to help me in the comments, as I cannot remember for the life of me what it is. And that's going to bother me for the rest of the playthrough. Anyway, look at that waterfall. That is majestic. And I think we're going to hit the sand wedge. At the slight slow, so we're going to be short. Oh. Rejected there. We'll chip on. Not too shabby. We'll take it. We'll tap it in. All is good. As we make the par on number four. All right, headed to the fifth, our first big par five. Great job with Camber here on the fairway. So any far over here, you're in big danger running it off to the left. So I'm going to try to play it as high up to the right as I possibly can which is kind of what I want to do here. And it should bounce right down to the middle of the fairway. That's great. Great looking second shot coming in with that lovely mountain in the back. And he's done a good job because that guy can create a lot of blocking of the sun, but he's managed to minimize it on the golf course, which is ideal. Hmm. I think we're going to hit 194 and try to roll it on. Let's see what we can do. Get a bounce. Ooh, this could get a good kick. Did it? Oh no, I thought it was going to kick forward a bit more. Alas, it has not. Alright, so we're going to try the chip. The splash shot, not as reliable as it used to be, at least for me. So I've been definitely playing the chip shot a bit more, which I think is a good thing. That splash shot was a little bit overpowered, but it definitely is frustrating to flub your splash shots now. <laughs> which I've been doing. All right, taking a birdie. So we head to the sixth hole. Short little par four here. And we absolutely hammer that. Perfect. All right, so he's definitely used the land here, especially that little hump there to create, make a very difficult little second shot here, little pitch. Let's see what we can do. Well, this could be good. We're going to get it right over that little hump. Little backspin. And there's a birdie. Okay, nice start. Four under through six holes. As we head to the second par three here on the front, 159 yards. Those bunkers sitting really nicely. Uh, again, kind of a front pin here, so not a lot to work with. We're going to try to hit the 9-iron and land it right up next to the pin. Ah, we hit the fast, so I think that's going to be long. Way long. Yeah. It's fine. All right, well, we got 28 feet here. We're going to see what we can do. Cozy it right on down to the hole. Just missed on the right-hand side. Oh, we'll clean it up. Make our par. All right. Fun round here at Lotterbrunnen. I absolutely adore that little pond on the left. Looks great with the sun reflecting off of it. I think maybe my favorite tee shot on the course so far right here. Short little par five. And looks pretty good. 220 in. Okay, I'll play this 194. So I like this. He's kind of made the green kind of camber right to left, but he's really blocked you in with these bunkers here. So I would have probably been better a bit more left of the fairway. But just real subtle strategy, and Energizer does it well. Up there with the likes of Ben for me in terms of uh, strategic golf holes. Uh, he knows what he's doing. Okay, we're going to hit the flop shot, I think. 44. Might be a little long. It is. Ah. 
That's not a good shot. And it's going to roll down the hill. No. Okay. Little chip back on. Ooh, I think I overcooked that too. We're going back and forth here. As this little short R5, I am in danger of bogeying unless I make this putt. Get in there, baby. Come on. Bit of an ugly bogey there for us on the 8th. But... Oh well. It got us. Deceptively easy looking hole. I don't feel like I played that particularly badly, but you get in those bunkers and you're trouble. Really nice closed off tee shot here on 9. You're putting it through the chute here. This looks great. I hope we get some more holes like this. I like that. I like the open look, but I like that kind of closed in a little bit too. All right. I hit the slow. It's a gray slow, so maybe not too bad. Get a big bounce. Come on, down the hill. No. Not down the hill. Okay, 37 feet. Here we go. Tracking. Get in the hole. Oof. Just missed. All right. We're on to the back nine, and we've got a long par three to get things started. Big, nasty bunker in the front there. Shouldn't be in play, though. That being said, you never know. I'm right in between clubs. I think I'm going to try to hit a three iron, maybe take a bit off of it. Get it high in the air here. Ooh, this could be pretty good. Kick a little left. It did. Wow. There we go. I mean, I've been playing the par threes in these playthroughs pretty darn well. I've hit some pretty good golf shots. Still waiting for that hole in one. We're going to get there. I feel like we're going to get one in these playthroughs at some point. At some point. All right. On the par 5, 11th. Going back up the hill towards that nice little waterfall. This hole is going to play pretty long with this gradual uphill. More nicely in play here. Okay, big second shot. Not sure if we're going to be able to reach, but uh, we should be able to get it up to that second uh, little landing there where the green is. And we are there. But I'm going to set up a tricky little splash shot, which we've been trying to avoid, but... Oh, we got that red fast. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Stay up there. Well, somehow it did. Avoiding disaster. All right, I got 32 feet for birdie. It's not hitting those third shots very well. All right. Tap and par. Tough uphill par five there. Really, really enjoying this. All right, we head back down the hill for the long par four twelfth. We got these trees kind of blocking our landing zone, but we're going to try to launch it over them. Avoid those bunkers on the left. And we've done that perfectly. So we put it in a great spot. 139 in. Okay. Okay, I think 9 iron up the hill. I think we got enough club here. Be right. Yep. We're good. We're good. Get in there, baby. Bingo. Finally, we made a putt. Finally made a putt. Nice birdie on the 12th. Okay, 13th. This is an interesting one. 260-yard par 4. Now, it, was this meant to be a par 3? Energizer will never tell, but... Uh, let's see what we can do here. This is an interesting one. 260 yards. Fun little one. Ooh, am I long? I think I'm long. Oh, no. Ah. All right. Little partial chip there, which is tricky to pull off, but we've done it okay. 
and a nine footer for birdie, which we have made. Fun little hole. Kind of feel like that was meant to be a par three, but I think it plays kind of nicely as a fun little short four, too. All right. Big downhill R4, 14th hole. Again, good use of camber here. You really got to play it down the right side, otherwise it can end up in those trees on the left. Well, he's given us plenty of space. I love the bunkering here on the left-hand side. This looks great. I am right in between clubs, unfortunately, so I'm going to really put a lot of spin on this 9-iron. See what happens. It is definitely long. Way too long. I really got to find... I kind of changed up my clubs in my bag, so I may need to look at that because that is a pretty big gap at the back end of my bag there. That we might have to fix. All right. Did what we could do there on that putt. Tapped in for the par. Okay, four holes left here. Three par fours and a par three here at Lauterbrunnen. Another great energizer course. Definitely something different. Okay. Cross bunker causing some potential issues, but we've been hitting the ball good today. So we roll it down that little slope. And that sets us up for a pretty routine pitch here. We get our tempo right, which we do. And that's going to be very good. We'll take that. And just a, an easy tap in for par on the 15th. It's all about the drive there. But uh, he's made that green quite interesting to play a variety of different shots there. Second shots for sure. Okay, this is a monster. 475 yards, uphill 60 feet. And we're playing it into the wind. And I hit a red fast to take off more distance, so... <laughs> This is going to be a beast of a shot in. Yeah, we're going to have to hit a three hybrid into this par four. Okay, kind of want to play that slope there if we can. Okay, we hit the gray fast. I think it might, if it's got enough roll here, it might hit off this slope and come on down. There it is. Here it comes. This is exactly what we wanted to do, people. Look at that. Great shot. Just a great little shot there. Easy as that. Easy as that. Great birdie there on 16. Oh, look at this little postcard hole, 17. Overlooking the little village there. Tough hole with that kind of monster ridge here. But I think ah, I'm right between clubs. I'm going to try to take some off. I didn't hit a good shot there, I could tell. A little bit of a gray slow. It's not terrible. To the right of the pin, we got about 27 feet. We're past the kind of big ridge, so fairly gentle left to right slope. And we've read it perfectly. Beautiful putt there. That gets us to nine under. We got a chance at double digits here. As we head to the final hole, as we see that lovely little Swiss clubhouse, you can see the Swiss flag there. That's a cool touch. Yeah, a lake, or sorry, not lake, like a little river, creek, a little something on the right there that isn't really in play, but the way the fairway's cambered, it's definitely something to think about. Okay, 147 by the 153. All right, shot is up. Lovely little clubhouse there. Nice little putting green and all that stuff. He's done a great job with the details. Just really creating a little cool village here in Switzerland. He kind of took it a different way than I thought he would with people would with a Swiss course. I thought people would do more of a traditional one. This is not a traditional Swiss course, and I think he did it very, very well. So it's 9 under 62 for us. I was pretty happy with that. He made some good shots. Uh, definitely a lot of fun there. Great job, Energizer. Great course here. Um, just go with another fantastic course in this contest. So make sure you give this one a play. Lauter Brunen from Energizer. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.